there, it's Jennifer from the blog, The Everyday Farmhouse. Today we're gonna to be making hand-dipped, tapered uh, beeswax candles. Uh, this is kind of one of those neat old-fashioned skills that I've always wanted to learn, and so we've been practicing with this, and I'm ready to share the process that we've come up with to get this done in your own kitchen without making a huge mess. And it's pretty simple, even your kids can do this, and so you'll see when we get started, my kids will come in and kind of take over the whole process. So I'm gonna show you everything you need. And um, to start with, I have kind of a double boiler setup. You can turn that maybe if you see it a little better. So this is like a double boiler setup. Um, the, one of the best things you could use would be like an old olive oil can. And I didn't have one. Um, you know, look around for things that you can find to reuse. I ended up buying this container and let me tell you the dimensions of it. I think it is, it's about 10 inches tall. It's four inches this way and seven inches this way. But you could find any, you know, sort of pot you have laying around. The thing is you don't want to reuse this. It's going to be used only for candles because the beeswax just does not clean out easily like something like soy wax would. Um, if you don't have a pot that, you know, you can bear to uh, part with, <laughs> or use for only this purpose. I'm just kind of protecting mine with some foil on the handles and stuff in case we drip any wax. I actually melted this down on our gas um, propane stove because it, I tried to do it on this little burner and it just takes too long. So I'm gonna turn this on just to keep it warm. So for temperature on your wax, I'm using beeswax and I bought the pastilles and I'll leave a link to where I got these. These were from, I'm Missouri, and so these were local Missouri beeswax. If you can find a local farmer to buy them from, that'd be great. Uh, we have bees, but we're not to the point where we have loads of our own wax. So you'll need between three and five pounds. Five pounds would be ideal. Um, five pounds will fill this, uh, and it'll actually get low. If you have more than five pounds, that'd be great. You won't use it all. Um, but it'll lower as you make the candles and you'll want to either add more wax to it or you'll have to dip down in there a little further and you'll see that whole process as you go. I just stir with an old stick we found outside because obviously I don't, I'm not worried about ruining that. You'll need some uh, 24 ply wicking and I just buy this, this uh, I think came off Amazon as well. Buy it in a spool like this and um, I, to make, I'm making like seven inch taper candles and you'll want about two inches more, at least wax um, than you need so that my container is 10 inches. So I need it to be about nine inches of wax is what I have. I cut the wicking to 21 inches. And then on the end, we tie a nut. And I can show you that. So you want these quarter inch nuts and you can just tie them on to the end of the wicking on each end. And so my husband made this handy little rack for us and you're just gonna hang these on here. And the nuts, what they do is they keep it nice and straight so that when you dip in here, it holds it nice and straight and you'll get to see the whole process. It'd be a good idea to keep a candle holder handy so you know when your candle's big enough. <laughs> uh, we counted how many dips it took to get to this size and it's between 26 and 30 dips. A, thermo a thermometer is a good idea to make sure your wax is the right temperature, right around 155. Mine's been hotter than that and that's fine. Uh, but once it gets too cold, it, you'll get lumpy candles and you don't want that. You want the candles to be nice and smooth. So as far as this goes, uh, I have this wire on here now, and that's because when the wax is cold, then um, this, this wanted to float. <laughs> so once it was liquid, it stays down in there a little better. So we just put some wire on there to kind of hold it down. And again, the foil is just to protect the pot. I think that's it. I have some parchment paper down here to protect my counters. And I think that's all we need to get started. So we're gonna get this process going and that'll be, you'll be able to see how that goes. And Okay, so we're gonna get started and then the kids are gonna kinda take over here. 
So this is cut to about six inches so that it fits down inside the can. Uh, we did this last night and we had it to where it was the length of the can so it rested on top and what happened is once we got low on wax it um, became difficult we had to take them off um, so that we were able to get down in the wax deep enough so what you could do let me show you how to do this first we're just dipping down to the top level of the can and we're going to take this out let it drip a bit and then just move it over here and hang that on your little rack then we're going to go to the next one while that dries i'm going to dip these first ones okay and then i'll let you take over so this just goes down level with the top of the can and bring it back up let it drip These cool pretty quickly. By the time we get to the fourth set of candles, that first one will be cool enough to dip. One thing you could do is if you wanted to speed the process up, I guess even more, um, is you could dip this in cold water after it comes out. So down into the wax, level with the top of the can. Bring it back up. <laughs> pretty fun. I like the color of that apron. I want to just take that. There we go. Down and up. Okay, I'll let y'all take over. Something that you can start to see is that these are getting a taper as the wax gets a little bit lower the candle doesn't get dipped as far and so a little bit less gets dipped a little bit less to where that's how the top gets skinnier now if your wax gets too low you're gonna have too skinny of a top so if you have excess wax that you can pour in to kind of keep the level high that'd be great just to keep another excess you know another separate pot to where you can add to the wax I don't have any extra wax this time. So when we get to the end, we might just have to dip them and kind of roll them on their side a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So we're also getting to the point where we've dipped them about 10 times now. No, it's just nine. This will be the 10th time. This is the 10th time. Okay, so. Do one more and that'll be 10. After we go through all of these, we're going to cut the nuts off the bottom. Um, some of the knots too big it looks like yeah. Yeah. so the net the point of that is to hold it so that it makes a nice straight taper a few of these I didn't have a heavy enough nut and I'm noticing the ones that I put a little bit smaller nut on aren't quite as straight as the ones that have the heavier quarter inch nut so 
I went in the wrong order. I messed up your system. <laughs> Sorry. It's Okay, so I'm going to get the scissors and start cutting the nut off the bottom. Just cut through the wick right above where the nut is, and we do that when they, you know, after about ten. And you want to clean your scissors off right away. And the best thing to do with this is to uh, clean the wax off the nut right away. Just kind of pick it off while the wax is still warm and soft, and then you can reuse them. I mean, probably not. <laughs> I don't know how clean you're going to get them. Whether you would. Use them for anything other than candle making in the future, but you can still use a paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, we were able to get them pretty clean and reuse them for candle making. <laughs> Evelyn's doing a little experiment where she used a rolling pin to flatten it and she's trying to twist it, but she's not mm. sure she likes it's the not result. working out very well. <laughs> okay, so it's okay. open. Almost. Oh, I think it's pretty. It we'll dip it and see how it looks with it. So what we're doing now, we're getting, we're getting close. And our wax is getting a little lower than, I, I wish we had more wax to fill it, but it's fine. So what Lily's doing is she's just kind of tilting them a bit when they go in there. And it works best if there's only um, four candles on. The ones with six makes it a little harder to kind of tilt it inside. So we take one off. If I can kind of show you what she's doing. And she just kind of, whoops, <laughs> she just kind of tilts it to the side to get more. Otherwise, your taper gets so skinny at the top as the wax level gets lower. The other thing that we're trying to do is once it gets um, pretty big, then we just kind of shape the bottoms. And why don't you take one off and show how you kind of press it. Evelyn, why don't you do that? Take one off and show how you press it on the... Press the counter? Yeah, just on the counter. Just kind of press them and that kind of flattens the bottom so that it's not dripping. It doesn't look drippy on the bottom. It makes the bottom just look more professional and a little bit nicer and neater. Very good. <laughs> so we are... Have we lost count? Nope. 20 what? 25. We're at 25, so we're getting close. We've tested with our candle holder and we're still, we're guessing we have about four or five more dips to go before we're up to the size that fits our candle holder.
<laughs> okay, so I think we're about there. We, do you have one that you can test in the candle holder to see? Mm -hmm. that good? So, looks about right. Yeah, I did two more dips. Yeah, well, maybe one or two dips. A little bit. But otherwise, that's the process. And so about 30, is that what we came to? About 30 dunks. About 28. 28 so far, and we think maybe one or two more dunks. Yeah, so that'll be about 30. Okay, so you can see that this is the pretty easy process. This took us <laughs> probably <laughs> two hours, <laughs> I think. About two hours to dunk. <laughs> How many candles do we have? Okay. So. 24, 20, 24, 25. We could have done 24. We could have done six times four. So we have 24 candles that we made in about two hours. So not too bad. A super fun process. And I hope you give it a try.